Hello guys, how you doing? Welcome, I'm Sim UK. This is Starfield, and this game is incredible. It's from Bethesda, I think that's how you pronounce it. And um, I watched a review earlier today, and um, it was quite negative about it. It was kind of complimentary about it in some areas, but also quite negative about it. I've played the game for three hours. Unfortunately, I ran out of hard drive space, so that entire three hours has been lost, which is a real shame because I had a fantastic playthrough as well. But it's fair to say there are some confusing elements to this game. It doesn't really tell you how to do anything. You have to kind of figure it out yourself. And there's loads of confusing, confusing, sort of uh, contradicting comments and statements all over the place. But all that aside, it is stunningly beautiful. And actually, I think it plays really very well indeed. So I'm going to jump in. I'm going to start a new game. I'm going to go from the beginning, which is actually good because it took me a while to figure out how to do a couple of things, but now I'll be hopefully more switched on. We'll see how it goes. I'll do my best. I'll do my best. It's available on uh, Xbox Game Pass, so if you've got that, you've got access to this game already, and I highly recommend you get Game Pass, if for no other reason than to play this beautiful game. Sol date, May 7th, 2330. Argos Extractors, Mining Outpost, Moon of Vectira. Seals are good, oxygen's good. Just do what you did last time and you're fine. Follow my one simple rule. Hella, what's my one simple rule? Listen to Lynn, boss lady knows best. Exactly. Listen to me, mining's just like any other job. Go steady, go safe, go home with a pocket full of credits at the end of the day. Yeah, totally, it's just like, um, now I work in the Stardock, except uh, with more cave-ins, lasers, and accidental dismemberment. Very helpful, thank you. Eh, you're gonna be fine. Your first outing was solid. And, you know, let's be honest, it ain't exactly astrophysics. That's why I keep him around. Good pep talks. <laughs> yeah. And the fact that I can pinpoint a helium deposit from 300 meters. <laughs> Not untrue. A shame we won't find any down here. But the metal deposits alone should pay for our own helium. Hell, after this, we'll have enough jump fuel to bounce from one end of the settled systems to the next. Hey, more minerals, more money. And so the cycle repeats itself. Just no more unauthorized jumps in the house for room space, okay? He's just a big baby. There are worse lives. You know, most Dusties don't even make it this far. I have a good feeling about you. We're at group hug now or at the end of the shift? <sighs> One of these days, Hella, I am going to leave you behind. Promises, promises. If you're not seeing it already, the visual animations and everything is just so on point. Okay. And uh, Let's see what we've got. the audio is got incredible time. as well. Uh, Look at this long. place. Grab some samples. Always. Uh, but not you. Check on Isabel. Make sure she eases up on the breach. I don't feel like getting buried alive today. Roger that. Remember, Dusty, keep your breathing steady and never take that helmet off down here. Oxygen processors don't extend this far. Yeah, because God forbid we drill on a rock with breathable atmosphere. Know what I love about working in Freestar Collective Space? Fewer regs. Job like this in the United Colonies? <laughs> if you've ever been to the Wookiee Hole in Somerset or um, Cheddar Gorge, you know just how flipping accurate this looks and sounds. There's some bits coming up in a minute that are really going to blow your mind. Ease up! 
spending. If you got paid per break, you'd be a millionaire. Let's go. Yeah, yeah, okay. What do we say, Dusty? You make your cut, you get your cut. No exceptions. Come on, pick it up. Troy, what's the yield? Minimal at this point. Occasional glimmer, but it's weak. What do you think? Stay the course? No, ma'am. Juice ain't worth the squeeze. Well, okay then. Let's call this one tucked. Why don't you move over to that big baby we looked at? Yes, ma'am. One small frustration is she walks a hell of a lot slower than I do, so I'm constantly walking past her or uh, waiting for her. That's a small problem. There are much bigger problems. Dusty, you're up. Grab a cutter and mine what you can. Metal deposits are in that cavern. I'll shout out when I need you. Much of that. I think we'll be done here soon. Beryllium. I'm busy. Is there anyone else to bother? How may sucker you to join? Ball for the ready boss. Get back up here. Little taster, little taster for Come the game. On. It's time. You're with me. Look at this thing. There is so much detail on everything, and there is so much content, it's insane. So immersive, man. Look at this place. Listen to the audio here. Yeah, about that. Not if you consider a spike in gravity readings a problem. I don't. You don't? What we're after, it'll read as an anomaly. That's what I was told anyway. Okay, now you're starting to freak me out. Relax. It's just another job. Come on. I've forgotten how to turn my torch on. Hopefully they'll tell me again. We're getting close, I think. Yeah, everything is just... <laughs> Lynn, seriously, uh, there's something really effed up about this. Where is it, Hella? Through there, I think. Okay, you. You're up. Something goes wrong in there. We'll come get you. Um, Roger. <laughs> why would anything go wrong? Shouldn't would we... you shut up? Both of you do your jobs. The client is on his way. I would have to turn the flashlight on and off. It will drop down there. And it's massive. Everywhere you go, it's just massive. Oh, beryllium, why not? Could be useful later. Um, still getting weird gravity readings. I, I guess that's a good thing. Just keep going. Grab as much of this stuff as we can. There's going to be a lot of crafting later on. What is going on here? Look at this. Everything is sort of in stasis. What is going on? Take the strange object. Let's do it. Dusty. Out of it. Oh, 
cool is that? <laughs> Loving this game. Hey, come on. Come on. Okay, take it easy. You were out cold. Uh, no physical damage. Mentally, the jury's still out. You know who you are? New recruit for Argos Extractors? Ring any bells? Any of this look familiar? Cool. This is where I get to create my character. I'm, I'm going to be annoyed because my initial character was just absolutely spot on. Um, but we'll do our best. We'll try and make it as good as I did last time. So there are 40 people to choose from. This was my guy, actually. And, uh, yeah, kind of muscular but tubby. More tubby than muscular these days. And uh, you can pick your walk style. And it's just so weird looking at a dude walking like that. Skin tone. Pasty white boy, that's me. Uh, head shape is fine. Hair is actually spot on. Hair colour is good. Facial hair. Actually, let's just stick with what we got. Background. Right, I went with Bouncer, but there's loads to pick from. I won't go through them now. I read them all earlier on, but um, I won't do that this time. Um, and Traits, if I remember, I picked Introvert, Taskmaster, and United Colonies Native. So I'm trying to recreate the gameplay, the three hours gameplay that I lost earlier, if I can. Sim UK, a bit annoying that you have pronouns, but whatever. You can change the pronouns, by the way. They, them, if you so wish. Huh. Forgot you used to be a bouncer. Pretty much the same job if you swap tossing drunks to breaking rocks. Well, you got the sample. Client's on his way, then we all get paid. You remember anything that happened? Uh, it was incredible, like a dream or a vision. Easy there, high flyer. Probably just the endorphins kicking in when you passed out. Don't go having an experience on me. You'll walk it off. More importantly, we got what we were looking for. All this trouble for that stupid thing? Huh. Sure don't look like much. Never mind what it looks like. It's worth more than this mine has pulled in all month. We'll be... Speak of the devil. So you can play in third person mode if you so wish. That's your chosen style. Um, I'm a first person player. I much prefer this. A constellation <laughs> contact is on approach. So from this Wait, point on, the explorers group? pay attention because everything <laughs> kind of a joke. is a potential a joke. boost this for you. Joke. Like this, a med pack. I didn't see that earlier, hey, so that's a little extra bonus page. I've just got. Hell, I bet half the crew here we can open the door and go in there if we so wish. That's the lift, I think, that we came down in originally. Everything has a value. You can sell anything you want. Lots of lockers are accessible. There's a little uh, credit stick there. It's 161 credits. That's very nice. Over time, Whoa. you don't look good. Over time, you'll figure out what does and doesn't uh, hold value. But um, whilst you're trying to figure that out, food is food and water is always a good starting place. Because trust me, you're going to lose health in this game. Lynn sure seems to like you. Guess she would know. Being the boss and all. All right, Dusty. Airlock. Put your helmet on. So, this gets confusing. Uh, if you short press tab, it brings up this view. If you long press tab, it brings up the space view. There's a lot of stuff like that. That when you're under pressure, especially at the beginning when you first start playing... And cause you a few issues but uh so we're going to go into inventory we're going to go into helmets and we're going to click that that little triangle there means that 
we put our, we have put our helmet on. Look at that. I love the way that transitions. That is just sensational. And this location that you're looking at now, this is a tiny, tiny bit of what you're going to get to see. I'm going to grab myself a pistol and some bullets right now because things are about to change lickety split style look at the detail on this ship isn't that incredible it's so so good on so many levels I am so impressed Barrett? a long time <laughs> yes it has that mine on Bindi right Kazal hellhole like this place rare mineral contract your tastes are a bit more sophisticated now huh so you found something right here the new guy found it that right and everything went cool just like grabbing those minerals on Bindi Kazal, and no Barrett, not cool. He passed out after the extraction, woke up saying all kinds of nonsense. Is that right, cowboy? Went on a trip, huh? How well, would you know about that? You could say that the infinite possibilities of the universe are full of everything but coincidences. <laughs> you could call it that. that fun, huh? Not the most gentle push into the great mysteries of space, but hey, been there. Look, just hand over the credits, and I'll be happy to never see this thing, or you, ever again. That's why I like you, Lynn. All business. Barrett, the scanners on the frontier are reporting a ship coming in hot from orbit. I really thought I lost them. Barrett? Uh-oh. Pirates incoming. Right, now, I haven't yet figured out how to change weapons quickly. There's a whole bunch of stuff in this game that doesn't really get explained very well. That's one of them. Right, i got 94 rounds. Let's make this work. Kind of difficult to hit them sometimes. All right, you brought that on yourself. All right, cool. Go and uh, leech them for all, all that they're worth. Forgive me if I'm not really sort of getting immersed in this at the moment. Oh no, we lost one of our guys, look. Yeah, I'm not I'm not really getting immersed in it because I've already done this once today and I just want to get I want to get back to where I was. Did you see Lynn? Ran straight at those pirates like it was nothing. 
I did. She was pretty kick-ass, and that's... I mean, that's pretty kick-ass. Look at them. They're all down on the ground, exhausted, panicking. Absolutely brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Every time. Now that was some fine work on the pressure. You dug up the artifact, right? That means you saw it. The visions. You're coming with me to Constellation. You're part of this now. Uh... What is Constellation, anyway? You ever stare up at the stars at night, wondering what's out there? Well, that's us. That's where we go. Okay. They can tell me what this artifact of yours is, then I'm in. Marvelous. Oh no, Barrett. No. You think you're just going to take off after the mess you caused? All right. I guess I did just put you all on the Crimson Fleet hit list. How about I stay and I send your Dusty here in my place? I, 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 I know, I know, but he's not some miner anymore, Lynn. Soon as he touched that rock, something changed. Don't tell me you can't feel it. Fine. It's a deal. Get out of here, Dusty. You're on to bigger things. And so our journey begins. Uh... Thanks Just for everything. Go. Before I say something, I regret. Well, none of that's settled. Vasco, get him to the lodge. No deviations unless absolutely necessary, okay? Protocol Indigo. Indigo? Again. <laughs> Very well. Oh, and hey, take this. You'll find it very useful out there. And it even tells the time. This game is so damn good, honestly. I can't quite put a score hey, on it. Hey, look at that. The watch fits you perfectly. Now, questions? What did I ask him earlier? Uh, why is the Crimson Fleet after you? They're just following the loop like pirates do. And I have something of a reputation as a loot collector. Yeah. And, uh... Why send me, uh... Why send me? Shouldn't you go? Come on. You're really not at all curious about that light music show you experienced? Why it only affected you? Because if you didn't notice, we've all been handling it since with no problem. The way I see it, Constellation needs that artifact, but they also need you. This mystery is only getting bigger each step we take. And you're part of it now. So you're giving me your ship? Technically, it's not even mine. Consider it alone. Vasco will keep you on course. Besides, I'm making an exception, since you can tell Constellation about that vision you had. Alright, what of that? And Vasco! Don't let him break my ship! Alrighty. We get to jump on the ship and we're gonna kind of fly this bad boy. It's sad that we don't get to take off, although uh, it does make you feel like you get to take off. Synapse Alpha. Let's have a look at this thing here. We're coming into our inventory and into our aids. Synapse Alpha. Enhances reasoning and reflexes, improving problem-solving skills. Okay. Not quite sure how that's going to help us, but... Uh... Let's get ourselves up into the ship. Captain. I assume you know how to fly a Class A starship. As Barrett likes to say, it's as easy as learning to ride a bike. I will attempt to boost the shields, just in case there are any difficulties. Okay, so you can sit on the toilet and wait. I've not done that before, so that's the first time I've done that. How do you get off the toilet, though? That's the question. Okay. 
I've not done this before. How do I get off the toilet? Escape does that. Tab. No, that opens up the star map. Quick tab. Oh my god, how do I get off the damn toilet? E. Q. W. W. See, things like that can have you confused for quite some time. I'm taking the sandwich. Now, these things are absolutely incredibly useful. Digipix. Um, they enable you to break into locked rooms and briefcases and other items that have security locks on them. Mill pack, Raymond. We're going to need pretty much all this stuff. I grabbed it all earlier on and um, I'm glad I did. It kind of saved my life. Here we go. You know the drill, Vasco. Protocol Indigo means no deviations, no distractions, no dalliances, in short, no fun. Unless, as strictly defined by Sarah, said deviations, distractions, and dalliances are completely necessary in getting this fine vessel, the Discovery Class Starship Frontier, back home in one piece. I guess I'm still technically borrowing it from Constellation, even if I have no intention of actually giving it back. Oh, whoops. So we've got a research station here. I took a look at this earlier on. It's very confusing. The research lab lets you discover new crafting recipes by completing research projects. Each research project requires materials in order to make progress. The materials needed can range from raw minerals extracted from planets to organic substances extracted from alien creatures and plant life. <coughs> Excuse me, to manufacture components that, we can, that can be made at an industrial workbench. So, a um, whole host of things, food and drink benefits, um, outpost developments, all kinds of crazy, weird, probably somewhat vital elements. Equipment, obviously, and then weaponry. Um, and then it says here barrel mods, but um, it doesn't really say too much about what difference it makes. However, uh, it does tell you in the bottom middle, if you will look there, iron, nickel, and sealant. So we know what sort of stuff we need to be looking for in order to research these upgrades. But um, yeah, I haven't really done anything with that yet. Something to explore. Let's uh, open the hatch up. Something the game doesn't tell you is that over here is your cargo hold. And you can see we've actually got, I'll oh, blast it to hell. We've actually got some stuff in here like um, lubricant. Which is one of the things that it said we needed. Oh no, sealant it was, wasn't it? Let's, t let's take two sealant. Um, I think iron was one of them. And I forget what the other thing was. Let's, let's go have a look, see if we can actually do something here. The game has crashed on me once. Uh, I got into a firefight, ran back into a building, and it never sort of recovered from that. So we need three units of iron. It says available. Nickel. We need three units of nickel. Okay. Let's see if we can actually do this. Yes, we have nickel. Fabulous. Right, so that's a barrel mod. That's a grip and stock mod. Uh, that needs a whole host of other items. We don't even have access to these weapons yet, so it's a bit weird. Um... Okay, just take three of those, three of those, and two of those. Research Project Barrel Mods 1 has been completed. New research unlocked. Cool. So 
so that's blocked because we need weapon engineering rank one. I don't really know, if I'm being honest, uh, how to get that on the gun. That's probably something that we're going to get taught later on, I would hope. Um, inventory, resources, and iron, beryllium. Yeah, let's put the beryllium in there. We, so all the beryllium that I took earlier on. You can see all this cool stuff we've got. Actually, I might eat that because our health is not 100% right now. And I think I might eat the water as well. Gummy bugs. Okay. So we're not quite 100% health, but we're not too far off it. Right, let's jump into the big seat and see how this goes. Stunning uh, cinematics and animations in this game, honestly. Ready. The rest is up to you. They, they blow my mind. Hold left alt and use WASD to switch between systems and allocate power. You can skip the ship to tutorial by powering up all systems including the grav drive. Now, I've already done this once but I don't I still don't really know um, what the hell I'm doing. Each system on a ship requires power. Allocating power is under your direct control. Let's go over the engines. Engines control our maximum speed. Try increasing and decreasing our relative velocity. The W and S is for speed. See the speed icon, bottom the left of the circle. Engine has a sweet spot for better handling during turns. Draw your attention to the HUD. You'll notice a speed indicator in the lower left with a gauge that goes up and down as you adjust the throttle. Try to center the gauge so that it lines up with the center of the vertical bars to its right. You can see the line lines up in the middle. That's best for... Uh, Boost can be engaged for temporary bursts of speed. Yeah, it's best for um, movement, but this is our top speed. Let's turn our attention to the shields. Try adjusting power to the shields. Notice more power increases their strength. Shields protect the ship from hull damage. Without a hull, but be vaporized. Shield health is displayed in the lower right. Hull damage is below it. Alright, there we go. Mouse controls most of the movement. Rotation is A and D. Adequate pilot. Are you familiar yeah. with ship combat tactics? Because that's a crimson fleet ship bringing its weapons to bear. So we got big ship coming in. To disable their shields. Laser based weaponry is particularly effective. Congratulations 
surviving your first Starship assault, Captain. We should search the wreckage for spare parts and other salvage. You will need to fly close to it before we can access the remains. Got full uranium out of them there. Not too bad, I suppose. So I don't really play many space games these days, so I'm a little bit rusty in my fighting and turning and whatnot. But uh, hopefully, uh, I did a good enough job. Two more Crimson Fleet ships are jumping into our location, Captain. Oh, here they come. Get moving. Oh. There's one down. Travel to Crete, and we're going to go take on the, the basically the boss. This could be interesting. Now, first time I did this, I did brilliantly. Then the game crashed after I'd beaten them all, and um, I had to do it again a second time. Haven't lost a life yet, but we definitely got close the second time round. Right. So press tab to open the data menu. From there, you can open the star map. So tab. Current mission is at the bottom. Toggle which quest is tracked on your HUD. Only one quest can be tracked at a time. Select the name of the quest to expand the list of open objectives. Select any objective in the quest to track the whole quest. You can press the set course button to automatically navigate to activate your ship's, your quest's objective. So we click here, one small step, travel to Crete, and then we press R to set course. Yes. Now we press X to travel. It's as simple as that. And we'll do the same thing when we get close to land. We have arrived in orbit. The abandoned facility with our Crimson Fleet captain is on the surface. Okay, so he's on the surface somewhere. Open the star map. The planet view of the star map gives you information about the environment, lets you scan the planet for resources and helps you discover key landing sites. Rotate the planet until the Crete Research Lab map icon is in view and then select the map icon to land there. You can see it's all right there. Now if I press R, you can see we'll do a scan and then that gives us some decent information about what is on the planet, what kind of planet it is and what kind of um, fauna and flora we can investigate whilst we're there and we get paid for doing this sort of research so it's well worth well worth doing right let's set um, our landing point and let's land the settled systems is littered with abandoned outpost bases and research stations most of the military leftovers from the two great galactic wars So you've got to wonder who is that that's just taken off. I love that cinematic. 
Right, let's just see if there are any resources here that I didn't pick up. Don't use broken constellation space helmet. A med pack. Yeah, we'll take that. One thing you don't want to do is overload yourself. I um, my on my first three hour playthrough, I didn't know my ass from my elbow, so I was just picking everything up, like your hydraulic clamps and all sorts of totally unnecessary stuff. Um, I was grabbing anything I could see. Oh, there's apples there. We'll take them. Snack pack. Container of cereal. Food is all good. It all helps with our energy recovery if we get shot or whatever. Right, let's go. Let's go do this. Captain, Protocol Indigo dictates that I am to return to the Lodge with no deviations. We are here to stop the Crimson Fleet from pursuit. Nothing more. Roger. Why Barrett is... would say that billions of years ago, we were all one with the cosmos. So technically, you have known each other forever. But the more practical answer is likely that he needs you. The number of known people who have been affected by the artifacts is now two. Without your investment in Constellation's mission, he may never know more about the experience you both share. So, he is showing you trust in order to gain your support. He seems like a nice guy. I trust him at the moment. Now, uh, if you press F, you can scan creatures, minerals and plants. Each unique item scan progresses your survey data of the planet. Completed survey data can be sold for credits. The scanner mode also unlocks additional features such as building outposts and using social skills like diplomacy and intimidation. So, look at this wonderful, wonderful planet. First scan. Trilobites. I don't know if they're friendly or not, but they've got bite in the name, so I'm guessing probably not. Maybe if you don't get too close. Temperament wary, okay. So whilst I was um, scanning about, I did collect a few items. Some ore here, some iron ore and some silver. I also uh, gathered a lot of information surrounding the planet's fauna. Flora? Flora. Be careful, Captain. Alien creatures are often unpredictable. This is a Crete stalker. Getting a bit aggressive. Now we did... We had a bit of a fight last time we came to the planet. I don't know if he's going to do it this time. Maybe he's going to be cool. If he's cool, we'll leave him be, maybe. I'm not sure that he is cool. The enemy is approaching. He was not cool. Hallucinogen, vital fluids, adhesive gland fiber from the tissues. Okay. That's what happened last time. I tried to walk past him, but he just um, seemed hell bent on, on attacking us. Right, so we're going to get down to that base there. But whilst we're on this planet, I'm going to do my best. A, to gain some resources, and B, to enhance our understanding of said planet. Scan the dust route. 25% scan now.
And what really impressed me, not only, you know, the, the look of this entire planet, but the scale of it. I mean, I walked for bloody miles ex trying to explore some stuff and scan some more elements. And it just seems to go on forever. I'm sure there is a limit. But uh, I didn't find it earlier on, that's for sure. Now, bottom left-hand corner, there's a lot of in information there you've got to keep an eye on. This goes on and on and on and on and on. It goes on forever. It's insane. Very impressive. Really, really impressive. I'm playing in 4K. My gameplay is 60 FPS, but I can't record 60 FPS 4K. Um, that's no doubt a limitation of my system, to be fair. But um, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm recording 4K 30 FPS and playing in 4K 60 FPS without any issue at all except for the one crash that I had earlier. That's the only problem I've experienced. Oh, this guy's a real pain in the ass as well. He'll get in your way a lot uh, when you're in a, a battle. He'll um, oblige you completely by standing in front of your gun and then complaining that you're shooting at him. Does that a lot. Or if you're trying to do a shoot and uh, pull back to a defensive position manoeuvre. He'll also gladly stand in your way so that you get stuck as the enemies start piling their shots on at you. It's all good fun really. Right, here we go. This should be 100%. 100% scanned. You can see now the survey says that we've got 0 of 3 fauna, 1 of 3 flora and 4 of 8 resources. So there's a lot more to explore on this uh, planet but uh, technically we're here to infiltrate that building and kill the big bad boss basically so that's what I that's what I need to focus on Silver, bit of iron, more silver. Twenty-two bullets. This is going to be tough. The Crimson Fleet is a confederation of smaller, independent pirate crews, all flying under the same banner. They are typically unscrupulous and violent. Thanks for the heads up. Stunning. Look at the detail on everything. It is so damn good. Explosive there. Let's try and stay away from that. I'm looking for weapons and resources before we go into battle. Syringe there. Don't know what good that'll do me. Depends what is in it, I suppose. See, now, earlier on, I was picking up everything. Pipe wrenches, anything that popped up. I was like, yeah, we need that. I'm going to try and be a bit more systematic this time. Although, uh, if you do overload yourself, you can give a lot of your stuff to Vasco. He'll carry it for you. Um, but that could be quite confusing as well. Med pack, heart plus. Nice, we'll take those. Thank you. 
Blue colour off work duds. That's food, I'm not entirely sure. Sealed containers, they're no good to me. And pretty much everything. Now look at that value, 240. And you think, wow, that seems quite a high value item. But when you go to sell it, you don't get anything like that sort of money. So don't be fooled into, into doing it. <clears throat> right. What have we got here? 7.7 .7 mil cases, impact driver. You wouldn't believe how many impact drivers I picked up on my first playthrough. I sold them all, I made about a hundred bucks. But there's so much to look at, there's so much interactive stuff, it's insane. Omega, the last days, that's kind of worth a bit of money. Empty chunks package. Oh, there it is. Not much in there. Oh hello, what's this? Boom pop rhubarb flavour. Curious, these are United Colonies markings, but we are in Free Star Collective space. It then stands to reason that this was once a secret UC facility. Polytextile, we'll take that, because we can use that to craft something with. I've no idea what, don't ask me. Kind of need to get a bit lucky in your searching. Whoa, God, that thing still makes me jump. That's a heat leech. Completely harmless, or so it seems. Although we'll read some information later that would uh, make you think otherwise. But uh, yeah, they basically, they survive off heat. So they're attracted to things with heat and mostly docile, which is good. So although they scare the crap out of you quite often, you don't have to worry about them too much. Oh, a cooler. Bit of food in there. Toxin. I don't know why I pick up toxin. Alright, here we go then, Vasco. Oh, hang on. Where's the door? One of those heat leeches again. Okay, so far so good. Things like this are value 365. You think, yeah, great. Uh, I will take that because we do need to sell some stuff when we get to the, the next location. I make some money to pay for the repairs and whatnot. of fridges, 7.7 .7 mil. Vasco, get out of my goddamn way, man. Pack. Ah, right, these things are really useful. These are cred sticks. It's 196 credits added, and these digipicks are special keys that allow you to break into secured areas or safes and stuff like that. Really important. Never sell them, always keep them. Alright, here we go then. Under focus a bit. Not sure if anyone's here or not. Dead guy. Choco bites. So much stuff. Pretty much everything is interactable. Interactive. 
to some degree. Not everything, but I mean... Put it this way, I'm being quite methodical right now. I guarantee you I'm missing things. Because there's just so much stuff everywhere. They don't seem to be able to see me through the, the window there. Really hoping to find some ammo. It's going to be tricky. <clears throat> 30 rounds to kill I don't know how many people. And they don't die straight away usually. Big pack of beer. So a lot of these items are sort of boost packs, if you will. So if we come in here, go into inventory, go to aid, and you hover over these things, you can see it restores 3 health plus 10% O2 recovery for 3 minutes. Um, so O2 recovery is obviously quite important. If you don't have O2, you're going to die. And I very nearly died on my way out. Uh, on my on my second f battle here, this restores three health uh, plus eighteen o two recovery for three minutes as well. That restores five health, so I think I might just eat that cereal. Five health, so we're nearly at a hundred percent health. Now this gives me fifty percent damage resistance for three minutes and minus ten o two recovery for three minutes. So I'll be I have less energy, less oxygen, but I'll take less damage. So I'm very tempted to uh, to take that on. Oh, this one might be better actually. Heart plus. Gives me 20% 20 20 extra health for two minutes and 200 damage resistance for two minutes. So let's take that. Go kick some ass, hopefully. Right. Gonna explode. Oh my god, she's rushing me. Jesus Christ, I love the way they do that. Whoa. So she only had a rescue axe. Yeah, there's another one there, look. Oh, what the hell are you doing up there? There are a few bugs in the game. But then his uh, backpack thing exploded and it shot him up into the sky, so... I guess that's probably part of the problem. Right, good news is we got some ammo off the back of that encounter. Have a look around, see if there's anything else. Sparkling water, we'll take that. Good for health. Spiced worms, good for health, regeneration. Thankfully there's nobody on the toilet. What's that? Antibiotics, that's crucial. And there's some milk here. I call it toilet milk, because I found it in the toilet. It sounds disgusting, but it does save your life. Okay, here we go. Let's go 
kind of weird how little I remember. Vacuum tape, okay. Something in a cage until he kills you. So they're just enjoying watching whatever happened to the guys that were here. And I'm desperately trying to see, seek out helpful, valuable items like shotgun shells, spiced worms. I'll take the playing cards, they're worth 150 bucks apparently. Wire spool, that's very useful. I don't know what that is. These things are great. UC, UC Battle Mill Multi Pack restores 20 health and plus 8 carry capacity for 8 minutes. It's knowing when to use these things, there's so much information that you've got to work out yourself. Because it doesn't really tell you anything. See, like that star locked board game is worth 140 bucks. I can actually lie down and go to sleep if I wanted to, which is a bit random. It's not one of those things. Blue Lab outfit, cool. Now, I don't know if I can put the Blue Lab outfit on and walk around and sort of avoid detection. I haven't tried that. Right, here's our first safe. Fill in all open slots in every layer to open the lock. Select a key and rotate it until it lines up with the gaps in the security layer. Slot the key to fill in the gaps. Each key can only be used once. That really confused me earlier, but now I kind of get what we're supposed to do. There's an outer lock and there's an inner lock. Any digipick lock key, rather, can only affect one area so it's not like you can do the inside of this bit and the outside of this bit at least not at this difficulty level at least so all you've got to do is figure out which items go where so let's have a look see at this you press a and d to rotate again it doesn't show you that so uh that would be really good for the outside and then i think this one here must go there because that completes the outside lock and then internally we've got one two three which means this one and this one are still outstanding that should be it so if I press E now not on that key though make sure you select the right key before you press go we've got ourselves a key worth 740 credits. Nice. And there's another digipick key there so that we can do another one later. Cool. That was pretty groovy. Took me a while to figure that out earlier on, but uh, we did it. I think we got all the locks in the end. Man alive, you made me jump. <laughs> thought it was a security robot or something. Have I been in here? Okay. We're fine in here. Alien bug paperweight. We'll take that. I can sell that. Chunks Choco restores 5 health. A blender base. I took that earlier. I'm going to take it again just out of curiosity. It's another one of those things there. I, I must have taken everything earlier. 
everything I saw except for like cups and plates I took I was so overloaded it was ridiculous and it nearly killed me right bandages ammo 7.7 mil an Eon pistol and a Grendel rifle semi-automatic I think it is are about to get tricky. You have picked up too much matter and become over encumbered. Right, so now I'm over encumbered, which means that I walk slower and I use more oxygen when I walk, as you would expect for someone who's overweight or carrying too much weight. So I'm going to try and get my health up to 100%. We're going to do the heart thing again because we're going to have a big old gunfight in a second. But I'm also going to <coughs> equip a frag grenade. Actually, no, I won't do that just yet. I'll save that for the big battle at the end. So we've got some weapons now. We've got the Grendel. We've got 147 rounds for that. 184 for the Maelstrom. 96 for the Rattler and a Rescue Axe if all goes wrong and I had to use that earlier so it's a very good chance this could go wrong right let's go with this 147 rounds let's hope it's enough <clears throat> so our man there was doing a bit of shooting as well, helping us out. I am not picking up the enemy on my scanner. No, you're not. Well, I know for a fact that they're here. Do not go in that room. Just a little tip for you, for free. Close. 54 rounds left. Struggling now for ammo. Is no longer visible. Violence significantly decreases one's life Ah, uh, I'm sure there's a quick way to swap weapons, but I haven't figured out what it is yet, so I have to do this every time. Ah, uh, cranked out weapons. What have we got? 220 rounds for the Maelstrom. Let's swap to that. weapon here and there's loads of stuff we haven't picked up because we've been too busy concentrating on shooting so uh, when things quiet down we'll go back and no longer detecting enemy activity in this area I just thought we may have got them all But uh, don't count your chickens, they can return up any time. See these uh, molecular extractors? Picked up hundreds of those earlier. There is a pharmaceutical lab here. You can, like, create 
bandages and stuff. Well worth uh, having a look at when the time's right. see him. Going to be more. You see how he's crawling there, he's injured. He was like injured and he was trying to crawl to safety. It's so cool this game. I get some ammo. O2 is consumed with exertion, such as sprinting, melee attacks and jumping. And that is a crafting component, so I will take the toxin, even though I don't really want it. And we're looking for weapons, ammo, really important information. Stuff of that nature. Be careful all the time. Because you never quite know who's going to be around the next corner. Do you see anything in here? Thanks, thanks for blocking the way, Vasco. Real helpful, dude. Sealant. We'll take that, we'll take that. More toxin. Food resources. What's this? Is that anything? No. See, microscope. 240 value, but you won't get 240 for it. 240 to buy it. Full food. Getting somewhat panicky because there's a whole bunch of stuff that I, I found earlier that I thought I'd found by this point that I haven't found yet. Um, as I say, there are lots of things we can go back and extract, but gotta be careful what you do. Right, this door is locked, so I need to pick it. Okay, uh, so this is a tripler. I'm thinking that's probably going to be there. That looks like there to me. It could be that one. Something not quite right there. So that's one, two, three. So I've got to get these two locked. So that's the outer lock. Mm. 
that would be the inner lock. Right, so I think that's it. Perfect. So I've got to pick five locks in order to rank up to the next level of lock picking skill. But uh, if this door's locked, there's something of relevance in here. I can't remember what it is. Hayden wins Project Terminal. War. We're at war. By establishing the colony of Vesta, the Free Star Collective have forced the UC's hand. The unmitigated Gaul, thinking they could establish control over a fourth star system. Such a flagrant violation of the Treaty of Narion. Our diplomats tried to resolve this peacefully, but the Council of Governors wouldn't listen to reason. Apparently they claimed that Vesta was not a colony, but rather just an insignificant farming outpost. Nice try. By all accounts, the Red Devils and Stalkers... Now, Stalkers, we killed a Stalker out the front. Do you remember when we came in, it kind of attacked us? That's a Stalker. Worked in perfect unison, and the results were everything we could have hoped for. No Red Devil or Stalker casualties. Vesta's defenders were apparently taken by complete surprise, which greatly contributed to their fatality rate at 93%. This is a great day for the Red Devils, a great day for the United Colonies, and a great day for Xeno Warfare. Note, it is not lost on me that this classified facility is actually located within Free Star Collective Space. So goes the great game. Phase 2. It's finally time. After a number of successful missions with the Red Devils, the Stalkers have proven to be exactly the weapons we had hoped for. So it's time to expand our operations. Mast has finally approved the next stage of this facility's operations. Project Pet Shop. Phase 2 will now commence. We've officially stopped working on the Stalkers. There are enough creatures in the field to serve the Red Devils who haven't been here to train in over a year. If they need more, we can easily gather some from the planet and fit them with NCIs. But from this point on, our focus is Phase 2. Throughout the settled systems, from civilised wells to backwater Bushtown, pilots have been, had to deal with the nuances known commonly as the heat leech. I had my own unpleasant experience four years ago at the New Atlantis spaceport. My transport was delayed while the deck crew removed a few of these filthy little things from the aft thrusters. They're attracted to heat, feed off it through some endothermatic process, so thrusters are the perfect place for them to hide. They can take a full afterburner burst with no ill effects. No ill effects on the heat leeches, that is. A ship with an infestation can generally expect a 3-5% drop in thruster efficiency. Working with the heat leeches has been interesting, if not entirely satisfying. We have 11 of them in the lab, and by all accounts they're completely innocuous, save for their heat siphoning properties, but what if there were a way to weaponize them, perhaps artificially enhance their heat siphoning to completely and instantly disable a ship, or, even better, to somehow reverse the process so that they transfer their own heat into a ship? Someday. Today, I fear, we lack the means to do either. So that's what they've been working on here. There's another computer, in fact there's a couple of computers further back, that will give us more information. And now that it's quieter, I guess we can uh, consider looking at it. Right, this is, there's a, a lock here, and a cred stick for 218 coins, ammo case. See if I can crack this one. That looks promising. That looks like that outer section would be done. That would do that. And this would do this. Okay, that looks good. Nice. 1.5 KV LZR cartridges for the... it's one of our guns. The AMP, 35% movement speed for 2 minutes and 2 times jump height for 2 minutes. Two of those. And a disassembler modified solstice. Which 
20% plus damage against robots. There you go. So it looks like we are going to have some robot fights in the future. Okay, I think that's everything in that room. Let's, um, okay, have some milk on him. He's got some credits. They're not going to do him any good, are they? So we might as well take them. Let's hope we don't get jumped in the next couple of minutes. Right, whilst it's quiet, I'm going to head back. You see my oxygen levels are dropping. So I'm heading back and I'm just checking all around here and making sure that I've got all the credits from all the scientists. Any equipment from any of the uh, pirates who survived. med pack and some more credits there. Okay. If we go downstairs a second. There's a computer here. But oh and a weapon case. Nice. An instigated modified solstice and some cartridges. Fantastic. Thermal paste. You ran out of O2. Further exertion will cause CO2 build-up. Yeah, I have to be careful of my oxygen levels. Because I'm carrying so much stuff, I'm using more oxygen as I walk. And in certain environments, that gets exacerbated even more. Don't go into any of these secure areas. That's my advice. Okay, groovy. So just to give you a full understanding of what's going on, we're going to start with this computer here. New Beginnings. So this is from Hayden Wyan, personal journal. I can't believe it, I got the posting. The United Colonies Zeno Warfare Division is now official. I can't even imagine the amount of red tape they had to cut through at last. But it's long overdue and I get to be a part of it from the ground up. My official title will be Associate Xenobiology Technician and I ship out in three days. Amanda is upset but I assured her I'll have plenty of leave and we'll be back in New Atlantis all the time. I'm still not sure where I'm going. Definitely somewhere in United Colony space. Guess I'll find out when I get there. Candidate 1. We got our first extraterrestrial candidate today. What appeared to be an alien form of Lekuji Venusta. Essentially, a giant spider. Michelson, in full protective gear, attempted to attach the neural control interface, the NCI. We heard about that earlier. Our security detail is still trying to remove him from the cocoon. <laughs> and we had no choice but to put down the creature. A minor setback. None of us expected success on the first try. I heard Dr. Paulson tell the others that a detachment of United Colonies Marines is scheduled to deliver another creature next Thursday. I'm not sure how they managed it, but the UC Marines actually managed to bring us an Ashta. It's not that the Ashta is a terrifying beast and a natural predator. Those are both exceptional and wonderful qualities and essential to the work we're doing here. It's that the Ashta is native to the planet Aquila in the Cheyenne system. Aquila, home to Aquila City, capital of the Freestar Collective. Leave it to a group of ground pounders to grab a candidate right from the enemy's backyard. Though it does beg the question, have Freestar Collective scientists managed to weaponize the great natural predator? If so, our timetable just got accelerated. Any fears that our Freestar Collective counterparts have managed to weaponize the Ashta have been completely dispelled. After the Michelson debacle, we determined the NCI should only be attached under full sedation, so that wasn't an issue. 
The problem started immediately afterward. The Ashtar proved incredibly resistant to synchronisation and we never achieved control fidelity beyond 47%. Dr Chin's arm was nearly ripped off five minutes into the first trial. In short, the Ashtar simply cannot be controlled, if not by us, then certainly not by the Freestar Collective. Dr Paulson has been in touch with Colonel Kasarov. Looks like the Marines will have another species collected and dropped off this time next week. Another creature, another failure. No fault of the UC ground pounders. We wanted a predator and they delivered. These things were so alien. Paulson had a difficult time deciding on a designation. Opted for Reptan Veninum. Shame we couldn't properly sink the NCI. These things would have been spectacular. Especially the poison. Marines dropped off another few specimens this morning. Totally unscheduled. Best way to describe them? They're arthropods. The alien equivalent of Homerus gammarus, basically giant space lobsters. Very promising giant space lobsters. I'm not entirely sure whether you see grunts found these particular test subjects, some godforsaken backwater rock I imagine. After the third or fourth unsuccessful trial I stopped asking. None of those earlier species could have been controlled with any reliability, as noted in my earlier logs. Their natural aggressiveness made them effective weapons, but a bullet is less than useless if the gun keeps turning itself on the shooter. But these new creatures possess a perfect natural disposition, non-aggressive, even docile, yet capable of defending themselves when, with deadly efficiency when threatened, and when they do go on the attack, they are terrifying. So we'll see. We're probably going to meet all these things as well. We're moving, packing up shop and transitioning the entire operation. It's happened so fast my head is spinning. The work on the arthropods has been so successful we're actually relocating to their home world. We have an unlimited supply of creatures for the Xeno Warfare Division. I've been named Senior Xeno Biologist, that means I'll be running the entire facility. My first instinct was to tell Amanda. I'm still not used to her not being there. I'll give Michael some credit. The guy really went to bat for me. He let the masked brass know that it was my work tuning the neural control interface that was instrumental in controlling the arthropod. I guess Paulson is being forced to retire. Good riddance. So now you know how it all, how it all began. Every time he comes walking in a room he makes me panic. Make sure we're loaded. some lead off that guy. See, it doesn't matter how much attention you pay, you always miss something. Did you pick there for this guy? So much stuff, it's so easy to just walk past something and, and just not even see it at all. Which is brilliant. Makes the game feel very real. door had opened. There he is. This is Hayden Wynn, the man himself. Credit stick. It's loose. The Terramorph is loose. We can't stop it. When, when we tried to sync with the neural control interface, it just completely flipped out. Broke through its containment chamber like it was made out of paper. It killed Michelson, Cobb, and Sumatri in all of one minute. I'm, I'm not even sure where it is now. It took off deeper into the facility. A, a security detail went in after it, but good friggin' luck. When I know it's safe, I'm going to make a run for the comm relay. Try to call in the cavalry. This is Hayden Wynn, lead xenobiologist. 
Wishing he had gone to dentist school like his parents wanted. <laughs> I bet you are. Okay. I'm pretty sure there's something in this room I seem to remember. Ammo case. Here we go. Pretty good. Pretty sure that's going to be the outside one then. That's that covered. That's that covered. That should be it. Okay, let's try it. More cartridges and shotgun shells. Brilliant. We haven't got a shotgun yet, but uh, it's all good in the hood. Right, if I press P, it brings up our points. You receive one skill point to spend every time you level up. Each skill also unlocks a challenge. Complete the challenge and then spend a skill point to rank up the skill. The top row re represent basic skills. The rows below are locked until you have spent a minimum number of skill points in that category. So we got combat here, ballistics, current rank is zero of four. Um, if I click on that, rank one will do 10% more damage. Um, and that rank is available, so we've already unlocked that, whatever that request was. So I'm gonna press E. Now, now our bullets do 10% more damage, which uh, could be very useful. Um, I think that's going to be worth a lot of money. We'll take that, that helmet. Right, okay. Terramorph specimen. Thanks to the UC Marines, we now have the second piece of the puzzle, a fully grown alpha predator. According to my research, a group of astrologists made first contact nearly a hundred years ago on some remote moon. The creature didn't appear to be indigenous and was alone. There's currently no record of how it got there, so it was sheer cosmic chance that the astrologists found it, or rather, it found them. Scientists were quick to categorise it Ossiso Machina, roughly killing machine. The UC Marines tasked with taking it down chose a simpler name, Terramorph. I read the official record once of the eight person squad. Only two of the grunts survived and one of those lost a leg. Such an exciting time to be in Xeno warfare. Mm -hmm. Today we fit the Terramorph with the NCI. If our experience when the grunts first dropped off the creature is any indication, our sedation window will be around 15 minutes. We'd better make them count. And you know what happened after that. I'm detecting a safe nearby. We could make use of whatever is inside, provided you had some digi picks and a disregard for personal property rights. Yeah, I can tick all those boxes, my friend. It still makes me jump, even though I knew he was going to do it. How's my health? Let's equip uh, a, gra a grenade. And let's eat something. Oh, that's quite a good one. Oh, these are actually really quite good. Chunks of cake. Five health. Five health. Five health. Really basic things. Bit of milk, three health. Spaghetti. Some bread. 
fortified. That's a hundred percent health. Okay. We're in the best possible condition we could be in for what's about to happen. Shotgun shells. A couple of drinks. Right, here's the safe. Let's see if I can crack this one. Huh, interesting. That must be the outside one. That's the outside one, then that must go there. That's those two. And those three. So this is now internal, so that's in the right place. Or is it? Wait a minute, one, two, three. Five. One, two, three. Oh, I didn't quite catch it. Okay, 2.27 caliber, case of shotgun shells and simpler times. Hmm. I got something much cooler out of that box the last time I did this, I promise you. Okay, well, never mind. I do not understand your attachment to all these objects. Yeah, I've overloaded myself with, with stuff. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on Vasco. All I am programmed for combat. Carrying Trade objects gear. is one of my simplest and most useful protocols. Indeed. Uh, click Q for inventory and then I'm going to get rid of all the resources. They take up a lot of weight. Now be careful because um, if you give him your oxygen supply, he'll take it and you'll die. Um, I almost died. Luckily I sort of gained it back rather quickly. Um, but yeah, you do have to be very careful. Did you pick I'll keep? Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. I'm still overloaded. Okay, what else can I give him? Got four helmets at the moment. I'm wearing that one, so I can give him those three. And I'm wearing that outfit apparently. Oh wow, I've got I've got more outfits than I had earlier. Where did I get all these from? Cool bananas. Uh, right, I'm still overweight. Still over the weight. Uh, Damn, what can I give him? I can give him the notes, I suppose, can I? 
55. I'm still overweight. God damn it. Do you require assistance with your items? Yes, I do. Back to inventory. I'm guessing the weapons are the heaviest thing. Let's give him my cutter. Oh, I had more than one of those. That's probably... Got six rescue axes. No wonder. Right, now I accidentally gave him one of my... One of my weapons there. Is it a maelstrom? Right, so I should have one of each of guns now. No, I don't. I still don't. Oh, God. So Vasco has got this gun. Just need one of them. And the Grendel, I just want one of them. Right, okay. So my excess weight problem has now been solved. And it's all about to kick off. So, let's come in. Let's pick ourselves a gun. Guess we're going to go with this one. 198 rounds. Frag grenades. And what kind of boosts should we give ourselves? Stores 3 health, 10% O2 recovery for 3 minutes. Fifty percent damage resistance for three minutes, ten percent less O2 recovery for three minutes. Less damage seems like a good idea, right? Drink a beer before before battle. Seems like a good idea to me. Here we go. You gotta be kidding me. The Frontier has a new captain? You working with Barrett or did you pry the ship keys out of his cold dead hands? Enough talk, let's fight. Oh, this'll be fun. Barrett and the Trinity have something to say. History. They always assume. Damn it. So he's done a run out of the little git. Whoa! Okay, he just caused me loads of damage there. Uh, we need to change weapon. Very nearly killed me there, the son of a bitch. Equinox. Should have a bit of a range on it. We've got some additional pirates that are attacking from over there. It's really difficult to see them sometimes.
There he is, the main man. I think I got him. There's still one over here though. It's kind of taking cover. I think I got them all. Although, he hasn't said the fateful words yet, so maybe not. Get some ammo boost. It's fast travel to your ship, so maybe I have done it, I don't know. Is that him? I think that's him. Poison rescue axe. Epic item required. That's nice. I didn't get that before. Sparkling wine was another thing. I saw his gun laying around somewhere over here. Maybe I already picked it up. Right, so that's mission completed. Um, I just want to go see if I can some resources from these downed enemies. Credits. You've got some bumps. Now you can fast travel back to your ship unless you're overloaded, in which case it won't let you do it. I've no idea where I killed that person then. Oh, son of a bitch, he does that to me all the time. Just appears out of the bloody corner. Right, let's try and do this. Let's go F. Uh, look for the map icon. Press E over it. Fast travel. Yes. Captain, to reach the launch, we must jump to the planet Jemison in the Alpha Centauri system and then land in the city of New Atlantis. Do not worry. This will all become second nature before too long. So, tab, missions, one small step, grav jump to Jemison, set course, and then jump. It kind of lacks the, the flying aspect of the game, I guess, but it's not too bad. Starship Frontier, this is United Colony Security. Maintain course and prepare to be scanned. Scan complete. No contraband detected. You are cleared for landing at New Atlantis. Fantastic. So once again, we can tab it. Wonderful small step for man. Land at New Atlantis. Set course. I forgot to scan the planet. I normally scan the planets before I land. Right, this is pretty much as far as I've got. Um, so yeah, I spent a lot of time here trying to figure out some stuff. This looks incredible. Look at that. Look how amazing that looks. Now, for whatever reason, and I don't quite know why, if you're carrying stuff, it seems you cannot sell it. So what we need to do is go find our robot friend. Get all the stuff off him. Captain, Constellation will be waiting for you at the lodge. How may I be of service? Okay, so give me all of your all the stuff. You will not be able to walk at full speed with your pack that full. So it's always a good idea to leave a few health things behind. Your paste heart med pack. So we're gonna store say 10 of them I'm going to cut
come up here and all the stuff that we gathered and collected we're going to put into here uh, so inventory anything we have two of for example Technically, this is all bounty from our escapades. Oh, bum holes. I didn't mean to do that. Right, try again. Um, So that we want to chuck in, that we can't chuck in, that can go, that can go. Did you pick? I want to keep chunks. We can go, that can go. We want to keep the wire spool. Uh, having said that, do we want to keep it on our person? Let's see how we do. Helmets. Uh, now, if you look in the top right, you can see that each helmet has certain values, not just in monetary value. But also, um, so this is a filtered deep mining space helmet. It's rare, so I'm probably going to equip that with B. See, so momentarily, I had no helmet on, so I was getting taking some damage, I think. Um, so we're going to get rid of this helmet because it's this is a rare helmet. Um, which means we consume 25% less oxygen. That's huge. But we'll put that in for sale. Now the pirate helmet has plus 20 corrosion and minus 10 airborne. I don't really know what that means yet, but it is a difference. This one, the pirate charger space helmet is uh, plus 5 thermal, minus 5 airborne and something corrosion. So I don't really know too much about these. I know that they're very expensive. But um, we need money and we need to get rid of stuff, so I'm just going on, on that. Uh, Argos Extractor Jumpsuit, that can go. Blue Collar Off Work Duds, they can go. That's a terrible outfit. Blue Lab Outfit, goodness me. That looks pretty cool. In fact, I think we're going to equip that. Ah, minor utility outfit has better thermal, but the engineering outfit has better corrosiveness and radiation protection, so go with that for now, I think. Okay, working my way through, working my way through. Uh, resources, we kind of want to keep all of those. Still three miscellaneous, yeah. They can go. I'm still slightly overweight. Ah, weapons. Oh no, I don't have any duplicates, do I? exactly the same worth a lot of money these so that's an instigating modified solstice and the other one's a disassembler modified solstice they're both rare I don't know whether to get rid of them or keep them or what all right I think we got rid of enough stuff going to quickly take some health. Get me back up to 100% health. Right, let's go. Hey, Bosco. What? No Baird? Let me guess. Protocol Indigo again? <laughs> yes, indeed. And he's our new captain. My crew can take a look at your ship. And you can stop by the Trade Authority kiosk if you need to offload some cargo. Many thanks. Um, 1,000 credits. My ship needs some repairs. Okay, sure. 
We'll take care of any holes, broken seals, that kind of thing. Brilliant. Job done. Um, let's have a look and see what I'm ships sure he's got for sale. Like. These are the kind of things we can look forward to in the future, I guess. Uh, this is a Rambler. 57,000. Pretty cheap. Galileo. Quite a bit bigger. 132,000. Gladius. 76,000. Sparrow. 72,000. Kafur. 104,000. A Responder. 65,000. And the Shield Breaker which is 279,000. Some really cool ships there. Lots of um, modification and so on. I would try to viewport. It'll be on your left once you get into the plaza. The viewport. Okay. Everything looks good here. I'll be at my booth if you need me. Cool. This is his booth over here. He said at the bottom of the ramp, but it's actually at the top of the ramp. Um, and you can I think you can sell stuff here, although I've not had much luck. If you come in See, it says Q, vendor sell. Now, maybe you can't sell stuff here. Maybe you can only buy stuff here. It's a bit confusing. Vendor sell, vendor credits, 5,000. If I buy something, it makes him more money, I think. So we'll have to go to the shop and sell instead. So look at this place. At Absolutely incredible. Provoked attack on a United Colonies research facility will not go unanswered. We'll get you settled into your new assignments as soon as possible. For you, Bobby, that includes meeting your new foster parent. My parents aren't dead. They just took a different shot. We'll see them when they get here. Oh, well, of course, that's sure possible. <laughs> uh, we'll, ju uh, we'll just. Helena Chambers, IDSSCOM 1327HCHA. I was the station administrator. I'll need to report to Mast ASAP for a full debrief. My treatment thus far has been entirely unacceptable. Any authority you had was forfeit the moment House Varun Zealots breached the station's perimeter and you failed to initiate proper evacuation protocols. Thank you for your service. We'll find you a new position commensurate with your experience. She's got and that Mr. skin Gosh, condition. Let me just how cool say is that? How honored I am to meet you. By all accounts, you're the only reason anyone made it out of their life. Well, just glad I still remember my flight basics. It had been a while. So was shooting a gun. I read all about New Atlantis. Okay. So cool. Right, so there's a security uh, section here, and as you go through, the security guards check you. That scientist out in front of mast, staring at trees, sounds upset. Whatever it is, it can't be that bad, right? Talk to the scientist by the tree. I don't know which tree that is. What's really cool is people just walk up to you and they just hand over these like little mini quests that you can do. Like last time I came down and I was looking around and they were like, some bloke just walked up to me and said, you look pretty handy. We're looking for some security stuff if you're interested. I was like, okay. And then I went and got a job. It was quite incredible. Um, furthermore, this is the security area here where you can't get in to the city without going through it. There you go, you will be scanned as you enter the city. But, I didn't know you could come in here, actually. But you can totally bypass it, which is kind of funny. But, so uh, yeah, he's not telling me not to be in here, which is probably weird. But, yeah, what I discovered was... I mean, look at this. Look at this. Look how huge this place is. It's just incredible. And you can uh, you can go and talk to anybody. Like this guy over here, we can just go talk to him if we want. If we stand around long enough, you'll see ships coming into land as well. Pretty incredible. But what I discovered was, uh, if you don't want to go through the security check, there's a very good chance, if you've got the energy, you can just sneak around the outside. 
or over the top technically I guess we're doing you can see I'm using quite a lot of oxygen to do this but here we are safe and sound from such a height is dangerous for your endoskeleton and uh, we've avoided uh, security checks so that's useful for the future in case we ever get any bounties on our heads or whatever so that's the viewport up there I'm going to see if I can find that security guy again. You don't need to wear your helmet on this planet. You know that, right? <laughs> okay, <laughs> see, I didn't know that. If you don't need to wear your helmet, why are you guys wearing your helmets? so cool there's so much communication going on right first things first we're gonna go so there's so many things distracting me it's unbelievable right so I was originally sent to talk to sergeant yummy so let's do that well hello you hear about the job by any chance uh, the officer over there can help you with any bounty issues. Ah, uh, so... Sure am. You did, huh? Saw the sign outside. Admit, I was against the sign at first. Felt cheesy, you know. Like we're hiring a dishwasher or one of those dancing clowns. But here you are. Can't argue with effectiveness. And if nothing else, New Atlantis security is just that. Effective. When we're fully staffed, that is. But we're not... Long story, and need some help. You interested? Well, uh, first things first, I have to ask, do you have any security experience at all? Well, it just so happens that I was a bouncer. Oh yeah? Oh, it's great. Just so you know, so we're on the same page, our officer's greatest weapon is their voice, not their fists. But I'll toss in a few extra creds because that is relevant experience. Okay. Well, I think I've heard all I need. Your first assignment couldn't be easier. Go to Mast and check in with Agent Plato at Aegis. There was a package left at a dead drop and they need UC security to handle it. He'll fill you in on the details. Right, roger that. Let me know if you have any questions. Thank you very much. Let's go, buddy boy. So, next thing on the agenda is to go to the shop up here. It's called Jemison Mercantile, and that's quite a nice logo, I think. Everything about this place is nice. Really nice. So uh, yeah, I think this is the only place where you can sell stuff. I'm not 100% sure. Barrett enjoys this establishment. He frequently buys chocolate here. Though I have informed him repeatedly, it is likely a significant contributing factor it's to his being overweight. Hi there. Thanks for stopping in. Feel free to look around. I can take care of transactions, and if you've got questions, just ask. Uh, I'd like to see what you have oh, for please, sale. Take a look. And I'd like to sell. So I hit Q. Sell from ship inventory. So I click Q again. Let's see what we can get rid of. So that can go. But it says buy. The vendor credits, so that should go down. But they're not giving us very much money for this. So that's okay because we didn't pay for the stuff anyway. Um, so I think I'm selling stuff from my ship. Yep. So we've now got 10,000 credits. So we're doing quite well. Uh, I've got three helmets to sell.
sure they're worth so much more than I'm getting for them, but whatever. A oh, bitten sandwich? I want to keep that. Resources. We want to keep all of the resources we've gathered because we do all our crafting with those. Okay, I think that's it. Groovy. Appreciate the business. Likewise. So we're doing quite well. I'm doing better than I was last time. This is the viewport. I haven't been in here before. This is all new. So these are potential crew members, it looks like. Never heard all day in the big city. Hey there. Hey. Always nice to see a new face. First time in New Atlantis? Yes, it is. Um, United Colonies native. Actually, I grew up in New Atlantis. Oh, yeah? And yet here we are, only just meeting for the first time. Tell you what. Indeed. As a hometown boy, I'll give you one on the house. Oh, thank you very much. Let me know if there's anything I can get you. Uh, heard any good rumors lately? Uh, business seems to be booming for you. Yep. Spaceport traffic keeps me pretty busy. But just between you and me, I've got something in the works that'll change everything. A new drink that'll make this place famous. Galaxy-wide. Well, I have to give this a try. You would love it, I guarantee. Only, I can't make you one right now. Don't have the ingredients. Oh. I made a deal with the hauler to bring me some small samples of an ingredient I think will make all the difference. Right. But it never showed up. Turns out the guy I hired was also hired by a few other folks. The kind of folks who ship less than legal cargo. Security got wind, and the whole lot was impounded. Now they're just sitting on it, taking their sweet time like they always do. It's killing me. Interesting. Um... Well, seeing as I'm now working as a security guard, maybe I can get my hands on it. I submitted all the paperwork, believe me. It won't amount to anything, but I did it. And really, I'm not even certain this is what I need to finish the recipe. I just... I think it is. I need to get my hands on that cargo. Ah. Oh. Well, sounds like you need a helping hand. I really do. It's gonna keep me awake nights if I don't try. Before we say anything else, yeah. I am in no way asking you to do anything that might violate no. any of the many, many laws in place here in New Atlantis or the larger United Colonies. Absolutely. This is just one friend talking to another friend, asking if maybe that friend could possibly find a way to get her important cargo out of the impound. And, and that lady if, just robbed you, but you carry on. Hypothetically, that were done in a less than 100% legal way, well... That might not be the worst thing in the world. It might not you, be the uh, worst thing. With me on this? Mm hmm. I mean, who do I need to kill? Uh, I'm here for you. I'll do whatever I can. God, you have no idea what a relief this is. I'm obviously not expecting you or anyone to go in guns blazing and taking hostages or something. I just figure there has to be a way to get what I need. Yeah. Don't worry, I'll figure something out. I'm not worried. I'm annoyed. Wait, are you saying I should be worried? No, of course not. It'll be fine. Totally fine. I, I trust you. Okay. Had any good rumors lately? You know, I had a guy in here last week ranting that General Shao ought to send the Marines down into the well. I'm usually all for letting folks speak their mind. Most times it can't be helped after a few drinks. But that was just too much. Anybody stuck living in the well, it almost certainly isn't by choice. And things down there aren't that bad. Catch you later. Catch you later. Thanks very much. Now, this guy looks like he knows this thing. I'm not used to people coming up to me. The suit usually scares them off. <laughs> Although I guess that's my fault, isn't it? It's an impressive suit, if a little intimidating. Uh, yeah, well, I, I go all over. A little psychological warfare up front tends to make things easier. 
very wise. I'm guessing you're a mercenary then, or military? Retired, actually. From too many lives to count. But I've been all those things, yeah? Mm -hmm. And a few more. Mm. I spend a lot of time in the fringes these days. God help you if you come across something someone wants. You'd think it was things like civilizations and factions that cause people to want to shoot each other. No, even without that, it's still winner take all. There's a whole philosophy behind that sentence, isn't there? Well, you're on to me. Hmm. Okay. I'm not going to hire anyone just yet. Because we've got somewhere we need to be. Hello. And uh, it's quite important that we get there, so I'm going to focus on that, I think. What's this shop over here? <laughs> let me let me just get distracted one more time. Sure hope your day's going as well as mine is. Coffee shop. Although I have attempted an analysis several times, I simply cannot quantify humans' addiction to caffeine. Get out of the and let this get the People can buy a coffee. 75 credits. Hmm. For a latte. Your insistence on carrying so many things is reducing our travel speed. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Sure. Let's take the train then, it'll be quicker. This is New Atlantis Transit, or the next. It provides free transportation throughout the city. We can take it directly to the, the Mast District. Okay, I actually got a little bit further than uh, than I recalled earlier. So I've been in and spoken to these people once already, and um, once I get there, I'll be up to date and um, probably wrap up the episode at that point as well. Look at this though, look at the detail on all of the buildings and all of the people and everything. The water is quite aesthetically pleasing, or so Barrett has told me. New Atlantis relies on advanced hydroelectrics for most of its power. Look at this place. It's just insanely good. And it's already very, very different from the first time I played through. I think that's really important to to, to state that, reiterate that. Um, when I played earlier... Oh god, I've gone totally the wrong way. When I played earlier, um, a lot of what happened has happened again, but it's happened differently than it did the first time. I've met new people, I've got different quests to go and investigate. We may be in a United Colonies city, but Constellation is an entirely neutral entity, and always has been. Look at this place. How do they do this? That's incredible. Here we are, the Lodge. The front door should unlock if you hold up the watch that Barrett gave you. I have messaged the other members of Constellation. They will be waiting for us inside. Let's do this. something bigger now and he hopes you'll make this place your home oh, what a fantastic place this is we'll have a proper look around later but um, right now let's go say hello I'm saying is the most impossible theory you two keep going on like this and I'm banning wages I'm serious we'll play nice 
Just a little friendly conversation, Sarah. That's all. We appear to have a visitor. Hello. Welcome to Constellation. We Thank have you. a lot to talk about. So Would you there. care to tell us what happened to our friend? Why you're here and he isn't? Hmm. Why don't we start with you telling me what Constellation is? Hmm. Very well. This is a private organization dedicated to exploration. Space primarily, but also anomalies throughout the settled systems. It's inherently dangerous work, yeah. so if one of our own doesn't show up as planned, then we tend to have questions. Speaking of which, where is Barrett? Pirates attacked. Barrett asked me to deliver the artifact. I see. Bosco, verify. All statements made have been factual. Ugh. This is just typical. Barrett hands over our ship and our robot to some random employee of that discount mining outfit he uses. Walter. And if we hadn't insisted on installing those emergency protocols, I guarantee you this rock breaker here would be halfway to Neon. But that didn't happen. He's here with the artifact. Thank you, Matteo. Now, let's focus on what's in front of us, shall we? What happened when it was extracted? Did anyone see anything? Hear anything? How many times has this happened? Who else has had these visions? We think it's anyone else who pulls one out of the rock for the first time. Why? We're not sure yet. So if you wouldn't mind adding another data point. There's bright lights and music. Interesting. Similar to Barrett's description of the experience. With less embellishment. Yes. There. Are you hearing this? Do you all believe me now? Whether it happened or not wasn't in doubt. If you expect us to believe in fairy tales. If this is the greatest mystery in the universe, why couldn't it be part of the ultimate mystery? Mm. But gentlemen, can we please focus? Noel, I think it's time we tested your theory. Right. Let's see. We know the artifacts react to each other. The pieces we already have move when they're in close contact. Now, if we add this new one to the two we already have... The artifact. If you could place it on the table here. Sure. Yeah. That's it. Just like the others. And to imagine, we thought there were only two of them at first. Oh my god, that's it. They're reacting. Look at how it's coming together. That energy that's arcing between them, no manufactured material in the settled systems can do that. None of them. This proves that... Easy, girl. Breathe. You'll have a heart attack. She's not the only one. If they're coming together, that means there's a set. Built by an intelligence outside the settled systems. Still 2,000 credits for our little wager, Patrick? You're on, Walter. Well, if we had all the answers, it wouldn't be exciting, now would it? Not to take away from the moment, but what are we going to do about our new friend here? <laughs> so, are you ready to get to work? See if exploration is the life you want to lead in this little universe of ours? All right. You want me in Constellation? What does that mean? What's expected? We're all here because we're committed to exploring space. Humanity may have settled the stars, but that doesn't mean we should stop diving into the unknown. Beyond that, you'll be expected to use your own judgment, just like the rest of us. Sounds pretty good. All right, I'm in. Tell me what happens next. You should take some time to get settled in. Introduce yourself to everyone. Some of our members aren't here, but you'll meet them soon. Come find me when you're ready. You and I are going to be doing some traveling together. Get your feet wet. And here, I think you've earned something for bringing the artifact to us. In addition to credits, why don't we set you up with a backpack with some boost capability? Hmm? You'll need it out in the field anyway. Just mind your head. 
400 XP, skill point available, and 8,000 credits. Woohoo! You've got to admit, that's pretty cushy, right? Pretty groovy indeed. Right, so to move this mission on, we have to talk to Sarah, but I really just want to explore this fantastic looking house. Got to talk to Noel about about quarters and all sorts of things. I wish it told you which ship that was meant to be. I'm just going to have a little look around, just going to be nosy. Love that lamp. Walter. I hope Barrett makes it back to us. I know he gets into trouble all the time and everyone just sort of... Ask if you've got questions. Himself. Speak up if you have ideas. We're all here for the same reason. Okay, Mateo. Thank you, buddy. Oh, look at this. That's a stunner. I love that. That's brilliant. Well within established parameters. Right. Well then... Nice little garden area. Mikey, that looks dangerous. A moth vine harvest. That got us some fibre, nice. Well, that's what that was, that was a moth vine. So much, so much in this game. It's just mental. Right. Now you think this apartment is, or this building is quite large. You have no idea. Some first aid, med packs. So we've got a weapons workbench here. Spacesuit workbench. An industrial workbench. We heard about those earlier on. Constellation Mission Board, the Pharmaceutical Lab, a Cooking Station, let's go left, so it looks like some quarters here, the plushy Star Pal, Cheddar Snack, sorry I'm having that. So I was grabbing all these things, I was thinking, oh, I, could, I could probably need a hammer. Storage box, 160 credits. I shouldn't really be nicking off the people who live here. As soon as we're all in this together, or so they say. Old habits die hard. That's the well. Okay. I'm not going to go in there just yet. I've not been in there before. I don't know what that's all about. I have a sneaky suspicion it's going to open up more things. That door is locked. I can't unlock that. It's too difficult. I need master quality. It's very interesting. But that suit provides some very special abilities. Okay, so that's downstairs, but there's there's even more upstairs. Maybe not quite as interesting, but still just as huge. Oh wow, look. I didn't even know this was here. I hear a ship. There it is. Sensational. It's just so damn big. It's so vibrant. Everything looks just incredible. If I get a jetpack, I might actually be able to get up onto the roof, but... Um so let's see here. Bedroom number one. Oh, there's credit sticks. 
160. I shouldn't really be robbing them, I don't think, but they're just going to leave it hanging around. Yeah, look at this. Look. One room there goes all the way down. Another room here. Huge kitchen area. There's a bar, martini glass, fancy ice bucket. Just sublime cooking station there. Loads of objet d'art. Sort of a utility room, I guess. Small conference room. Another bedroom. Oh, what's this? Unlock inaccessible. Ooh. Wonder what's in there. A nice looking ship. No idea what it's called. Another bedroom. Another sort of storage room, I guess. room. Take cards again. What have we got here? Pharmaceutical lab. My friend will be. Do you know what I mean? This place is just enormous. Whoa. Hey, Matthew. This is all exciting, but... There's really a lot of pressure on us, isn't there? We have to get this right. Seems a little bit anxious, I have to say. Another room. So I think that's it. I think I've covered all the rooms. Just enormous, though. Just incredibly huge. And uh, I watched a review earlier on, which was kind of... I'm mean, impressed with the graphic quality, but sort of negative about the game overall. And I've got to say, I don't really see it. I don't see... The performance is fine. I'm running an RTX 3080, um, i9-9900, and I'm playing 4K at 30fps. It plays perfectly at 60fps, I just can't record at 60fps. So I'm sorry, I'm playing in 60fps, but I'm recording in 60. 30. Uh, to get tired but yeah this is insanely cool um, I'm rather tempted though to leave them for two minutes and go and find this security job see if I can't kill two birds with one stone I have no idea where the Arias would be maybe if I go tab missions mm -mm, keep the peace Speak to Agent Plato. So wait, are we are we on this island? Yeah. So he's down here. been having brown ass all the time. Mast finally sent someone down there, but nothing's changed. Brown outs all the time, that's a new investigation come up. Look at this, look at this walkway. Who comes up with these fantastic ideas? Just wonderful, isn't it? Anyway, I'm going miles away from where I'm supposed to be going, so... Look at it, just insane how good this is. That was uh, quite suspicious. I'm carrying too much weight, I'm running out of oxygen quickly. I'm 
pass out soon if I keep walking. Gonna have to stop and enjoy the view for a minute. My oxygen levels recover. Just admire how fantastic everything looks. further down. How do I get down there? Maybe if we go in the building there'll be steps. What's that robot? Is that one of ours? Is that our robot? Oh no, that's a security robot. I was having a little play around earlier and um, yeah, it's quite aggressive. Those machine guns do a lot of damage, I can tell you. Here we go. Wow. It's out of the way, isn't it? Of course, welcome at any time here in Mast. Same as anyone. Just be aware that you are being monitored. Thank you. The fewer people there are thinking about Aegis on a daily basis, the easier my job is. Yeah. Your name Plato? <laughs> no. My parents would never have been so presumptuous. Every agent who joins Aegis gets to choose a pseudonym, pending approval, of course. I chose this for myself when I signed on. So you're I presumptuous. I have, of course, since learned that I am not nearly as smart as I thought I was as a younger man. I suppose none of us are. Interesting. Um, what is it you do here? I'm the acting head of Aegis, the intelligence division here in Mast. I oversee all our active projects and agents in the field, and I'm afraid that's about as much detail as I can give you. Okay. So, um, I was asked by UC Security to pick something up. Ah, right. You're Sergeant Yumi's recruit. You're taller than I expected. Okay. Thanks, I guess. Oh, it wasn't a compliment. Just an observation. In any case, let me fill you in. We have a dead drop that we think has been compromised. So I'd like someone from UC Security to handle the pickup instead. Oh, right. Take the package back to Sergeant Yumi, and he'll check it in as evidence before it gets routed back to Aegis. Okay. Uh... What do you mean the location's been compromised? We think non-UC affiliated groups have their eye on it, and are using it to identify field agents. Normally, we just burn the location, but we didn't get this intel until after the drop. So we're going to need non-Aegis personnel to do the pickup to cover our tracks. Got it. Just tell me where to pick it up. Take the NAT to the spaceport. There should be a Galbank ATM right next to the station. The package is taped under one of the benches. Grab it and deliver it to Sergeant Yumi and the job's done. Right you are. I think we're going to have to do that. Good luck with the mission. Thank you. We're going to have to do... We're going to have to do that with um, without carrying excess weight, I think. Otherwise, we're going to have problems. Get the distinct impression we're going to be, need to do some running. I could just jump on it here and go. guess we'll leave that for the next episode guys thank you so much for watching 
This is all going to be new for me from this point on. Uh, I think it's clear to see just how good this game is. Don't forget, it's on um, Xbox Game Pass. So if you have that, you already have this game. And I think, based on what I've seen so far in the first five, six hours that I've played it now, this game alone justifies having Game Pass, in my opinion. Um, I'm really impressed with this game. It's it's blown me away, and I've barely even scratched the surface. So, how cool is that? Very cool, I think. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Till then, take care. Goodbye for now.